Christ as you are, come and see. Come receive. Come and live forever. Life everlasting, strength for today. Taste the living water and never thirst again. Come just as you are, hear the Spirit call. Come just as you are and see. Come and live forever. Day by day as they sit, spent much time together in the temple, they broke bread at home and ate their food with glad and generous hearts, praising God and having the good will of all the people. And day by day, the Lord added to their number those who had been saved. I came out in 1982. I was five. <laughs> See if you're paying attention. And um, my parents still go to the largest Baptist church here in Tampa. And um, boy, it was, it was rough going. And 1982, this was just beginning to be a hot topic. And really and truly, it was the, the blanketing of the Holy Spirit who gave me wisdom I never had on my own. And I realized that I could fight them. I could demand things from them. I could hold myself out in, a, in distance from them. Or I could find another path. And so what I decided was I wasn't going to ask them to do something I couldn't do. I couldn't change for them. So I wasn't going to ask them to change for me. I was just going to find love in the mess. And it's not, I mean, there's still a great big giant herd of elephants that sit in the living room, but we have figured out how to be in communion together. Rabbi Kushner, familiar with him? He wrote a book called Overcoming Life's Disappointments. Have you ever had a disappointment in your life? There's this wonderful story in his book. He tells the story of an aging couple. The wife has Alzheimer's. The husband goes to the nursing home every day before breakfast until she goes to bed. Throughout the day, all day long, she looks at him and says, who are you again? I'm your husband. We have three children. We've been married 55 years. And he opens the photo albums and he tells her these great stories. And at the end of the day, one of the workers looked at him and said, why do you do this every day? And she doesn't know who you are. You can choose to be right or you can find a way to do this in love so that at the end of the day, you'll still know who you are. Welcome to Tampa. God bless you as you continue all of the work you're called to do. The Spirit calling out your name, won't you come just as you are? Come and see, sing it with me. Come receive, come and live.